Hey guys, so as many of you know that I've been doing this behind the Instagram photo video series. And what that is, is I pick one of the pictures I've posted on Instagram of my work that I've done at the salon, and then I go in detail about techniques and formulas that I've done to get that look. So since I'm just starting out this video series, I figured I would do two of these back to back to show you that yes, I will be doing these you know, as often as I can, and the first one got pretty awesome feedback, so I figured I would pick a picture that's a little bit different from the one I just did, and just so that you guys already have, you know, two formulas for something that's, you know, kind of different. So please go ahead and leave me feedback down below on what you do think of this, or if you have any suggestions on how I should be doing this. Also, follow me on Instagram at SylviaX, and go ahead and pick which pictures you want me to do next. So anyway, I will be talking about this picture right here today. So this is my client, Maya, and this was the first time I saw her. And as you can see, her hair was very brassy and very yellow. So, you know, she has naturally dark hair and she had been wanting to do this kind of ombre kind of look. Um, on top of that, her ends were extremely, extremely fried. So that is the hardest thing that any hairdresser can get, which is you know, you're like kind of close color-wise to what you, you know, your desired goal color is, but the fact that your hair is so damaged at the ends, it kind of limits us what we can put on and what we can do for you. So, so when she came in, as you can see, she had a very dark kind of root coming all the way to about her ears, say. So what I did to break that up is I went in and wove in a balayage kind of highlight. So I wove it out like a highlight and used foil because I wanted as much lift as I could get. But at the root, I painted it like if it was a balayage. So that was just to kind of break up that darkness. Obviously in one appointment, I'm not going to get as light as she had, and I knew that. Um, but it was really to just break up that line. Then once I was done with that, we shampooed that out. Then I did a high lift with 20 volume only. And I did that from leaving the roots out. So this is a hairdresser's term, but zone one is about an inch from the scalp to an inch out. And that is zone one. So that is considered a root. Anything past that is considered a color correction and is no longer root. Root is only one inch. So anything from then on, that is zone two, and then ends is obviously like zone three. So that is, no matter how long or short your hair is, it's about the last inch, inch and a half, that is your ends. So I did a high lift starting at zone two, which is an inch from the scalp. So I voided the first inch. For anyone that has ever, you know, put hair color on their hair, you know you get hot roots, especially if you're using, you know, a high lift or you know, a higher developer, anything other than 20. You will get very orangey at the root. So you avoid the root, starting an inch below the root. Yeah, I added the high lift all the way to where her light blonde kind of started. So now we have the balayage woven piece and then the high lift. So it, the line is kind of broken up now and she is light up here. So then keep in mind, she still has that root that's still natural colors. Then I go in with the six ash on the root and I do now go all over the root, all the way to the back, of course. So once the scalp is covered in the six ash, then I go in and weave out another balayage over the light pieces that she already has. So basically all that yellow and orange that she has, I'm going to use that to my benefit and use only a 10 volume with Olaplex, which is not really a lot of lift, but it'll just remove all that yellowness and kind of orange brassiness and basically just kind of clean it up. I will get it just as light as I can um, from that. I can't use anything stronger, and that was kind of my goal, just to kind of clean it up, make it look buttery and bright. So then once the root and those ends are processed, obviously I didn't want the roots to, to stay on very long. I did want that, you know, Olaplex to definitely seep in because she definitely needed that on her ends. So about 25 minutes to 30 minutes later, we then go wash everything out. So then from her roots to about, you know, center of her hair, um, right before it gets really blonde, I did a mixture of 06N Shades EQ and half of 09T Shades EQ. And I mixed that with processing solution and applied with a bottle from her roots to the center. Sometimes I can do both toners at the same time, like the toner on the ends and the toner on the top. But for this, I knew that I wanted it to sit for much less time. So I did that first, and then I wanted to shampoo it out really quickly because I didn't want it to stain the rest of the hair. So I did the six and nine 
T on the roots to the center of her hair. I only left that in, say, about um, three minutes, four minutes. I know that with Shades EQ, a lot of people say you need to leave it on full time. Obviously, if I put a six or a nine for 20 minutes, um, she would be gray. So, this is the perfect amount of tone to really get her to that very neutral color and get rid of any brassing that happens with lift. Um, but still, you know, leaving her light enough that, you know, she still has, so that she has a bright enough look to look like, you know, the blonde she had down here is continuing all the way up to her root. So once I shampooed that, then I just did a 90 with clear shades EQ with processing solution on her ends. And that's just kind of what makes that blonde, you know, like really platinum-y, um, really bright, buttery kind of a look. So that is all I did for color. Uh, and then I followed with a deep conditioning treatment, step two of the Olaplex, and then just a slight trim and a blowout. And that is it. <laughs> Sounds really complicated, but I swear when you're in the zone and you know on this flow, it just it it comes out so easy. I think, and I absolutely think that her hair came out so beautiful. So yeah, let me know if you enjoy this. Let me know if you are liking this series type of thing. Also, for my future appointments, I will be asking some of you if you're okay with being on camera other than just the back of your head. I'm normally really respectful and some clients say, you know, oh, it's okay if you get a picture of my face. I normally just need the hair, but I feel like for this purpose, it would be kind of cool to, you know, to get a little background on the client and, and all of that. So for future clients that do come in, I will be asking some of you if you're okay with being on camera. And if you are, you may be featured in the next one of these video series. So how exciting is that? <laughs> Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram, like I said, so you can go ahead and pick which picture you would like me to dissect and talk about next. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.